Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the conversations I've had recently. Um, so, I've been in the middle of a bunch of work lately that's been needing some some really quick turnarounds, some really quick revisions, some really quick stuff. And uh, I was having a conversation with my ECD, and we were going back and forth about a couple things that he was having some thoughts on and that I was having some thoughts on, and I was trying to give my input. Um, and and we came to a crossing a crossroads where I felt like this needed to have this, and he felt like this needed to have this. Right? Um, this happens all the time. It happens with clients. It happens with other creatives. It happens with um, your CDs, your ECDs, whatever. So I I've I've had these crossroads a lot. Um, sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm right. Um, I'm willing to accept when I, my ideas just don't work because sometimes I'm just not seeing it right. Um, and these conversations are incredibly important. Um, but this this made me think about talking about this with you guys. When he's having a, you know when he's having an idea and I'm having an idea, the way that I approach this conversation is not I know better than you or 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 he knows better than me or it it, it doesn't turn into that kind of situation where I feel like I have to impose my will or I feel like he's imposing his will. Right. Like I don't want to go in immediately putting up a wall and defending myself. Um, and so the way that I approach this is I try to listen, try to listen to what he's trying to say and then try to to explain why my idea might work better for that situation. Right. Because he does. Sometimes he doesn't know everything. Right. Not all the time. Most of the time, those guys are in those roles because they're incredibly talented. Right. And so you need to listen to things that they're asking. But sometimes they're looking for your input. So I give my thoughts. And what, what happens in that conversation is he starts having his wheels turn and he's like, maybe that would work, but I need to know why I'd like to see the thoughts that you have. I'd like to see that because if, if you really think that that's going to work, then I need you to invest a little bit of time and show me. And so that gives me a window because if I really think that my idea is going to fix this problem better than the 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 way that he's wanting to fix it, then I need to show it. And so I have to go back, I have to sit at my desk and I have to try to flesh out that idea that I was thinking in my head as quickly as possible so that way I can show him. And that's awesome because sometimes people will not allow you to actually flesh out those ideas. They'll just immediately squash you. <laughs> They're like, no, no, that's a stupid idea. Don't want to see it. You need to do the things that I'm asking you to do. So this gives me an opportunity to go sit at my desk and try to flesh this out. Now, most of the time you don't have days and days and days or weeks or whatever to flesh this idea out. So you have to work as quickly as you can. And usually since, I, since I'm in 3D and doing these things, sometimes that takes a little bit longer than just fleshing out a Photoshop frame. Um, I like to do production ready frames. I think I've talked about this before. I like to do frames that actually can go right into production. So. I have to jump into 3D and I have to flesh this out as fast as I can. So the way that I do that is I just I just jump in. I don't even think about it. I just jump in. I hack it as fast as I can to get whatever I'm thinking, this motion or this movement or or I'm thinking, okay, I need to have this do this thing and then do this other thing. And then I just start showing that. I mean, I just start really going as quickly as I can. And so what I do, like I did on this last project, I spent an hour and I did like seven, eight, nine different motion tests as fast as I could. Were they pretty? No. But what I wanted to do is show that I think that this might work and get it as close as, you know, as close as I could in an hour and show him as many variations as I could of that idea. So that way, maybe he could see it and go, you know what? I can see what you're saying. Let's go ahead and switch gears and let's go this way. Um, that doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes they're like, no, 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 that that's exactly how I thought it was going to go. It's not going to work. Please, let's work on these things. And then you can just drop it and move on. But having that opportunity came only because I voiced my I voiced my opinion as professionally as I could. Am I perfect? No, man. Sometimes I go into those rooms and sometimes I, I have a little bit of an ego or I feel like there's somebody else who has an ego. And so those walls go up and I start getting either defensive or I start trying to be a little bit aggressive. But it's something that you have to check. You have to check that right at the door. You have to go in and understand that we're all on the same team. I'm not trying to beat him. He's not trying to beat me. We're, we're working together just trying to make something amazing. And you, you have to just drop all that. You have to go into the rooms, let your egos go and just work together to try to make something amazing. Um, 
And so when you guys go into those meetings, just try to do that. Just try to try to drop some of that ego. Um, try to open up your mind a little bit to maybe some other solutions that might help. Um, and then when you're given the opportunity, just go and try to try to knock it out. Try to knock it out as quickly as you can to try to show that thing or that idea or that thought that you had. So you could be a salesman, try to sell it. Because that's all he's looking for. Most of the time those guys are those guys are looking for those opportunities that 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 just blow clients away, that that blow them away, you know, like, oh my gosh, I never even thought about like I never thought about that like that. So let's just Let's do that. That's amazing. That's going to blow them away. Um, does it happen all the time? No. But if you don't try, then you're never going to have the opportunity to just ex- just knocks things out of the park, you know, because if you just live right along the middle of the road, you know, just the way that this channel is, if you just live right along the middle of the road, your entire career, that's all the work you're ever going to do. And so when you're given these chances to try to blow somebody away, just do it. Just but do it quickly. You know, you're going to have to jump into these things and you're going to have to just like, you thought about this idea, you're going to have to jump into this and you're going to have to go, okay, let's make, let's make this thing really fast and then go back to them and be like, Hey, this is the idea that I was thinking. What are your thoughts? Um, anyway, I hope that's a help. Um, I was a little scattered there at the end there, but if you guys have any thoughts on how to approach those conversations, please let me know. If you guys have any, uh, uh, other suggestions about things we should talk about, please let me know. Um, thanks so much for, for your time. Please share, like, subscribe to this channel. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.